it's amazing because you just think it's never going to happen to me. And, you know, all of a sudden you just get breast cancer. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. it's, it, it's unbelievable and surreal, very surreal. I mean, breast cancer is all over the place. I do know a couple people that have had breast cancer. I lost three sisters to breast cancer. Penny, Vicky, and Melissa. My mother um, was diagnosed with breast cancer when she was 46 years old and she died when she was 54 years old. She never saw me get married. She never met my children. Um, she never got to be a grandmother. I was 46 when I was diagnosed with breast cancer for my first time. And then again, uh, I was 50 the second time I was diagnosed with breast cancer. In the United States, about one in nine women are diagnosed with breast cancer. Um, it's the most common major cancer diagnosed in women. The Avon Walk for Breast Cancer was something I had wanted to do for a number of years. In 2011, I decided that I wanted to do it with my daughter, Allie. For me, the walk is just a statement of strength, of overcoming a difficult situation in my life. You all know that this is much more than just a walk. It's a journey, that you're part of a connected community that is in it to end it together. My name is Haley Fitch from Dover, Mass. I'm in it to end it for my mom. It's incredible, I had seven wonderfully incredible women friends walk with me. We walked the full 39 miles, they trained with me. Um, I wouldn't have been able to get through this part of my treatment without them. When I was first diagnosed it was incredibly scary because my mom died of breast cancer a week uh, after my 12th birthday, so I thought when I when I heard that you know I had breast cancer, I thought that's it, I'm going to die. I normally research everything to the end of detail, but I really wanted to know only the next step I had to take because it was kind of daunting to know the whole thing. So I would try to go as far as the next step because it's too overwhelming. Telling someone that they have breast cancer is probably one of the hardest things that I have to do. You know, probably the worst part of the whole journey is hearing those words, and it does start getting better from there. I don't have any family history, so it took me totally by surprise. That turns your world upside down. Everything goes to your mind. Everything, and it's the worst thing I think anybody can ever say to me, is that you, know, you have cancer. I don't ever want anyone to ever get that. Breast cancers, luckily in the United States, are usually diagnosed through a screening mammogram. And there's still many women, despite lots of evidence, that that mammogram saved lives. Lots of women still aren't doing that regularly. I was diagnosed at uh, 42 years old and healthy, cancer free. <laughs> Thank God, early detection. <laughs> Get those mammies. Get the all the mammograms. Get with a really good support group and accept help. I think as women, we are always the the caregivers, and in order to be a good giver, you have to be a good receiver sit back and allow someone to help you through this process. Don't hold it in, talk about it, cry about it, be true to your emotions. I have um, a wonderful husband who is just there for me all the time. My children were wonderful. And I have a couple of great, great friends. And you really find out who your true friends are during difficult times. I felt that I needed to be strong for my wife and my family, it's like being at the doctor's appointments always when she has to go. It's looking at her when she's bald as the Mr. Clean Man and say, you're as beautiful as you ever are. You know, so I think it's recognizing the person, not the disease. I have four wonderful boys and they were um, extremely <laughs> I have one golden rule. Allow yourself to cry every day, only in the shower. You don't deal with makeup, you don't scrub your eyebrows that you have to pencil in. Um, and, and the minute your foot touches the, the um, back rug, you have to be done. Women are extremely tenacious and stubborn and driven and motivated, which I love. Of course, is the initial 
terror and fear and anxiety. But what I always see happen is that this diagnosis makes them stronger. It's no wonder, I mean, you go, when you go to things like the Avon Walk, you see these amazing women banding together, advocating for each other. There's nothing stronger than a woman who's been faced with something like this. And there's nothing stronger than a group of women <laughs> fighting together for a cause like this. Having breast cancer changed my life and that I definitely, I, of course I appreciate life more, but I used to get upset about a lot of little things a lot easier. And I, I still sometimes, but not really. Um, I've calmed down about that a lot. It makes you stop the smell of roses and to, and to see that life is precious and to spend more time with the things that matter, the people that matter, your friends, your family. It's just, you, you can't waste life being angry and upset. You just got to take every minute for what it's worth. Enjoy every moment of your life. Just enjoy it. Have fun. Try not to say no. Try not to think of reasons why you shouldn't do things. Try to think of reasons why you should.